And for our second guest, I have Brina Palencia, and I play Ray Ayanami. And have done so for the past two Evangelion movies. Yes. Now, um, this is a <laughs> this is an interesting scenario because this is considered a very important character to the Evangelion franchise. How many uh, hours have we worked on this character together? Uh, like four? Four or five. five? Yeah. Because <laughs> she never talks. <laughs> or when she does, it's very short sentences. Yes. <laughs> what, are, um, what are your impressions of Rei Ayanami? And, and what is your impression of Evangelion uh, in general? Had you seen it before or had you heard of it? I had not seen it. I had heard of it. I had never seen it before. Um, and I have still yet to see the uh, original TV version mm -hmm. uh, just because I don't want to just you know, mimic the original. You don't want it to influence you. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And uh, I, my impression of Ray is that she's pretty badass. I mean, she's <laughs> really hardcore and really intense, and I feel like um, she... I mean, I've voiced a lot of characters like her in that they're very quiet... Softer-spoken. And softer-spoken. Mm -hmm. And I feel like with those characters in general, the way that I like to see them is not that they're just void of emotion. It's mm -hmm. that they do have a lot of emotion, but they just don't really know how to express it. Because it kind of honestly reminds me of myself when I was in junior high. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tell us about yeah. that. How, how were you in junior high? I was incredibly quiet, and I was so quiet, there was a boy in my math class one time that asked me if I was actually capable of speaking, like genuinely was like, are you, like, can you, like can you talk? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he really thought that I was mute or something because he had never heard me say a word in his life. Wow. Yeah. I can't imagine a quiet Palencia. <laughs> Yeah, once I hit like 15, I got really loud all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll still revert back to that like if I'm in, if I'm in a new environment or situation like if I don't know anybody. You become a watcher. Yeah, I'm very much a watcher. Mm -hmm. Um well that takes care of some of what you may have in common with Ray. Mm -hmm. Um what do you think um it, what do you think about the two films? Do you think Ray has grown? Is there any difference in uh, the way you approach her? Or I think she's definitely um, more animated in the second film, which is funny to even use the word animated to describe Ray <laughs> at all. <laughs> <laughs> but compared to the first film, in the first film she was very... I feel like she was much darker, and she's starting to, starting to sort of lighten up in I the think, second film. I, I think the, the first film as a whole was darker. Yeah. I, th I think altogether just, you know... Not only the the color palette, which is you know a darker and more shadows and stuff like that, but I just think the tone overall was darker and there was less less comedy and things of that nature in it. Right. So, I guess with the second one, uh, even Ray had a little bit more of a lighter tone. Yeah, she she actually smiled yeah. once or twice. <laughs> Everyone reacted and was yeah. like, "What the hell is going on? <laughs> What's going on?" Ray She's spoke gone and crazy. said, "Good morning," and smiled. What's happening? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Now, how um, how do you feel that Ray relates to the other um, main characters in the show? Like, how how do you? Um I guess a better way to ask, how do you approach, like, uh, do you approach scenes differently depending on who she's talking to? Like, uh, does she feel differently about Shinji? Does she feel differently about Ikari? I, I think for sure. I feel like there are certain people that are important in her mind, and then the others just sort of blend in with the rest of the world, yeah. or just sort of person one, person two, then Shinji. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, so I feel like it is, it is a different atmosphere or feeling that I have any time that I'm, depending on who I'm talking to. Not that there's that much of a difference in her inflection, but <laughs> <laughs> in my mind and in my heart, I am feeling something different. What was um, something either uh, from the first movie or the second movie, uh, something that just had a lot of uh, personal connection or personal impact for you of anything that Ray did? I think at the end of the second movie mm -hmm. spoiler alert um hopefully you've sorry, already seen the movie before you've checked out what we're talking about yeah um just that just the very end whenever she decide like whenever she's trying to uh fight so that shinji doesn't have to like right. i think that's she's got the little dat player with her as a yeah, yeah exactly yeah and whenever she go when she goes and like swipes it or whatever i think mm. it's really really sweet and cool and it, it is i feel like she really grew a lot in that moment as a person. Yeah. There's a lot of interesting things um, that she does 
with、uh, Shinji in mind and Ikari in mind, and you know, trying to get them to get together or you know, get along better.、Mm-hmm. You know, we we have to wonder what's going on in the mind of Anayanami. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, what's something you hope for、um, in some of the future movies? Where do you, where would you like Ray's storyline to go, or, or you know, what, what are some hopes you have for the, for the character? I think continuing to build stronger relationships and not just seeing like everyone as you know person A, B, C, or whatever, and actually reaching out to other people other than just you know Shinji and Ikari,、um, and just slowly becoming more and more human. <laughs> <laughs> Now,、uh, speaking of other people,、uh, what has been、uh, some of the fan reaction that you've、uh, either received in person or via email or something like that? Because everything has been really positive, and I mean, I was pretty terrified. I mean, I guess I wasn't so terrified at the very beginning because I didn't really know that much about the show and I didn't realize how intense the fan base was.、Um, and I know you tried to warn me, but、mm. <laughs> it didn't really. Prepare me for what was happening, but I have yet to have. I mean, I haven't gotten any、um, negative feedback yet. Like all, all of it has been really positive and really、uh, gracious and awesome.、Uh, that's nice. Yeah, no, yeah. it's really nice because normally when you take over a part, that you know people are so used to hearing one voice. And then you take over. A lot of times, you get really negative feedback. Or in this case, you know that, that there's a you know there's a large fan base that likes the original language, and then on top of that, this already had you know a dub that had been out for over ten years, ten fifteen、yeah. years. So there was. So、that. I had like two people going against me, <laughs> <laughs> two different voices that everyone was used to, and I luckily. I mean, I'm sure there's people out there that hate it, but they, I just haven't come across them. <laughs> <laughs> Now,、uh, what was your first in-person、um, reaction to、uh, the Evangelion fan base like? Or you know, maybe the、uh, the premiere or somewhere where after the announcement had happened? Well, yeah. Well, after the announcement had happened, I remember you texting me to warn me、mm-hmm. that the announcement happened, and I was yes, just I kind of like. Okay, whatever. Because normally I don't find out about announcements until way later,、um, and so I was just kind of like,、uh, okay, thanks. And then I mean, within hours, I had like <laughs> several emails and Facebook messages and MySpace. I think this is when I was still using MySpace, MySpace messages and all that. And I was kind of floored at the amount of response that it got. Because I didn't really know the franchise yeah, that well. I told you it was a big deal. I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> What was it you said that it was? You basically gave me、uh, as far as nerddom goes. Yes, a, a like, different level of nerddom. You're the you're the princess Leia of anime now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Which is not, in, in, you know, entirely correct, but it was the the easiest way I could tell you. They're like, this is a that big deal. That way, I would understand. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm just kind of like, yeah, okay, whatever. But then when we went to Expo, yeah, too, that was when it was really kind of overwhelming. There was also I liked having.、Uh, There were what, like five or six girls that had cosplayed. There as, were multiple rays. Yeah, as rays. Yeah, and like I have a. I had a picture on my on my Facebook、um, <laughs> of me with all of the rays. It was kind of awesome. That was the most people I'd ever seen, dressed like my character. It was really cool. And then whenever we did the premiere, and it was、mm-hmm. so packed. It was. There was quite a lot of people there. Yeah, it was a lot. And I,、uh, I, I thought it was awesome that、uh, you had gone to the robot chicken panel the next、yeah. day, and you said that our panel totally trumped theirs as far as like the <laughs> amount of people that were there. Well, the amount of people, yes. <laughs>、yeah. I would, you know, the, the content is up to you know right, right, right. whoever、Not、likes content, it. Right, right. Not the content, but as far as the amount of people there, and I was just we had more people. Yeah, I yeah. was pretty. I was pretty overwhelmed by that. That was kind of awesome. <laughs> <laughs>、uh, any message to the Evangelion fans that are out there? That might be listening.、Um, I assume、you. are listening because they're listening to the、yeah. commentary. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for being so kind to me, and、um, I will continue to do to voice Ray to the best of my abilities, and hopefully you will continue to like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for coming in. Thank you.